What happens if you remove all of the features from Windows XP? Do you unleash a bare bones operating system or will it crumble into a heap of useless code? It's a risky proposition, but it could also lead to a more efficient and streamlined operating system. Let's find out. The GUI phase of setup took roughly 90 seconds to complete. After the computer restarts, we are sent right to the desktop because the out of box experience is one of the components that was removed. You may have noticed that the default Fisher Price theme and the iconic Bliss wallpaper are missing. Let's click on Start and see a very bare start menu. For reference, here is the standard start menu for Windows XP. Under All Programs, we have very little because so much has been removed. Control Panel is another place where you can see how much was removed. In the Task Manager, notice that there are only 12 processes running. I may have inadvertently made Windows XP extremely lightweight. In clicking around through the various properties windows, I noticed this anomaly where the check mark is selected to allow indexing, but the indexing service has been removed. Out of curiosity, let's see if any other features can be removed through add remove programs. Nope. And apparently very little can be added. The next step in this project is to see how useful Windows XP is with no features. If we refer to our list of 15 practical things we can do with an old computer and exclude the hardware related suggestions, we have building a home server or network attached storage. As the networking functionality is completely gone, we can cross these items off our list media server, file server, web server, email server, or dedicated game server. Again, no networking functionality. That also rules out external firewall or router, TiVo or Slingbox, surveillance system, kids first computer, and setting up a live weather station. That leaves us with two possibilities. A guest room PC, if you want to mess with your guest, or retro gaming and emulation. Removing all of the features that can be removed from Windows XP doesn't make it better for retro gaming or emulation. So this experiment was mostly useless. A better solution would be a middle ground of removing some features and keeping others, like the networking functionality. 